briefly, for you and the leadership, especially Congresswoman Cheney, do you believe President Trump should be speaking, or former President Trump should be speaking at CPAC this weekend? Yes, he should. Congresswoman Cheney? Uh, that's up to CPAC. I've, I've been clear in my views about uh, President Trump and, and the extent to which following the extent to which following January 6th, uh, I don't I don't believe that he should be playing a role in the future of the party or the country. On that high note. <laughs> <laughs> U.S. President Donald Trump will appear in public for the first time since leaving office last month, speaking at a meeting of the U.S. Conservative Political Action Conference, or CPAC. A source familiar with Trump's plans told Reuters, quote, he'll be talking about the future of the Republican Party and the conservative movement. His address will come as his Republican Party appears riven between a faction unwaveringly loyal to the 45th president and another seeking to put Trump behind them. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell gave a blistering speech blaming Trump for the violence. President Trump is practically and morally responsible for provoking the events of the day. That widened an already growing gulf between the ex-president and the most powerful elected Republican in the country. The CPAC Forum is a chance for political hopefuls and presidential contenders to prove their conservative bona fides. This year's speaker list includes former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem. Notably absent from the event are two high-profile Republicans who were once close allies of Trump, former Vice President Mike Pence and former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley. Pence drew hostile... 